Good morning, everyone. I know it's been a while, but I don't do cold very well, and I don't do wet cold very well. Finally got some pretty weather here. But uh, anyway, I found something else I want to do a video on. It's very simple, but it's going to make driving this thing so much better. Just simple. And you may or may know already what I'm talking about, but the steering stops on these things are way out. And speculation is that I don't know they just wanted to come from factory without you being able to flip it going high speeds or something so uh i'm going to show you right now how to how to adjust that and hopefully if i can get the drone fired up i'm going to do a comparison on uh basically like a before and after to show you how much how much difference there is in this so where it is uh it'll increase by about 30 or 40 percent the turning radius so basically like, you know, 40 foot, if, if you just do a circle from, from the outside uh, wheel rut to outside, straight across there, like that was 40 foot, that you could decrease that to about 30 foot, if that, if that gives you an idea. So uh, let me get under there and I'll start the video. All right, so what you're gonna need is uh, a 9 16 and an 11 16 The uh, The 9 16 is this one on the outside here and the, the 11 16 is this jam nut right here. Also, it helps to go ahead and have a, uh, a spotter or somebody up in the, in the driver's seat. They can turn the wheels while you're doing this because if you can see, I don't know, it's on my head. I can't tell how good the, the picture is, but the jam, the uh, steering stop right here bumps up against that right there. That's your, that's your limitation there with your turning radius. And what that does is it keeps this tire from coming over here and destroying your leaf springs and blah, 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 whatever. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna take this and screw it out all the way and whatever i mean you want to try it before you take off with it because you can tear everything up with it and ruin your tires too the outside so um i've already done mine uh by myself so that one over there seems to be adjusted perfect this one i think i'm bumping a little bit and by the looks of it i am uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one out. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take it out. That'll that will restrict my turning radius. So, um, what you're gonna do is, it don't appear that mine's gonna be the issue. This this side never has been, but you loosen this one up and you can take this all the way out. But you don't need to. I think it. I think whenever you get it, it come. It starts about like this. That's probably what factory is. So you're just gonna have to like hold this and and maneuver that around or whatever you need to do to get it uh to get it like you need to. But that's your adjustment right there. That will this bolt will come all the way out. But uh that's all I needed to do. So then you just tighten that back up. Very simple. I've heard people having more problems than, than that. I mean, not really problems, but it being harder for them. They're having to finagle this or what, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's got mud and rust already on theirs or something, but uh, not me. That's been, that's been my problem. Uh, just that I over, I over adjusted it. So my plan is here to, uh, to get a drone video to get a drone video and kind of have a bird's eye view from up top and and go get my parents and just do a, like a demonstration on on how wide I can turn or uh, how much wider they have to turn before they can clear the same area that mine does 
but uh, I'm gonna go over there and get theirs and hopefully uh, we can make a good video with it I actually haven't compared yet to see so I do know that when I back out of this garage used to I would have to kind of I'd have to pull forward right here and then back back up to get out of here now I mean it'll turn from right there straight straight over this way so I do know that it does make a big difference I can tell just by driving it and had I known that before I took it out on the first uh, ride at the ATV park I would have done this a long time ago but I didn't know it was that easy so uh, <clears throat> anyway let me get the drone out I think the battery's done charging on it and I'll run down there to my to my spot and see if we can get get some good footage video up uh, one little thing I wanted to say is if you'll notice in the in the last clip the black rockster which is mine which is the one that I did the modification to already steering stops uh, you'll notice I kind of moved over about halfway through that little clip and it was because I realized I was I was off point on on where the blue rockster started out so I just recalled the the landmark the little puddle on the left side i put the the driver's side left tire uh starting there doing my circles because i just remember that's where i was on the on the blue one so it was a it was a noticeable difference getting out of theirs and going straight to mine i'd i'd assume probably eight or ten ten foot on the diameter difference but uh anyways i hope y'all like this video and and if you want to see this channel grow and you want to show some support, please like. And uh, I do appreciate all the comments and, and feedback and questions. I, I like reading them. I like answering them. So let me know what y'all think. Also, I do want to I do want to talk about the gearing. If you have one of these or if you've test drove one, let me know what you think in the comments about the gearing and, and tell me if you think it's too high. I pulled a hayride two weekends ago with mine and uh it was loaded down probably about 12 14 people in it in hay bales and uh it was it was on that trailer right there i have a little picture i don't know if i'll be able to upload it in this but man first gear it, it just seems like it's too high i actually had to pull that thing in fourth gear i mean i'm sorry uh four low maybe third gear yeah, I know I could have rode the clutch and, and revved it and everything, but I had to get up on the road out of my parents' kind of driveway around that area. 
and it just i don't know it just seemed like it was geared way too high but anyway let me know what y'all think we'll catch y'all later